time for our 8.30 high beam now, and we are being joined by special guest Holly Flickinger from Hospice Browse and Buy. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Good to see your happy face this morning. And, uh, yes, glad to be here <laughs> and well, above that's, ground. <laughs> that's right. Every day's a good one, right? Every day's a good one. Well, it is for sure. And so when we talk about Hospice Browse and Buy, we're talking about uh, really three different locations. This is a total volunteer donation, and it all goes to benefit hospice. Is this, what's the official name of it? Community? Community Hospice okay. Browse and Buy. Or our store, right. the community hospice. Community hospice, which is a non County. a nonprofit organization. It is. So that's that's why this all comes together for us. So and every month, or every, yeah, you bring in. It seems to me more special deals on things that are going on, and you haven't disappointed this time, have you? No, no. <laughs> we've got uh, you know, in our store for next week, we've got double stamps, and the double stamps is is for every five dollars that you spend, you get a stamp. You get a pink card, a courtesy card, and on that card has 15 stamps, and then you're going to get $5 off your purchase, okay. your next purchase. And so now you're getting double stamps. So really, you're getting it for every 250 Yes. Yes. Wow. And generally, Tuesdays is our double stamp day. That's that's regular. Mm-hmm. But, you know, every once in a while, we'll do a double stamp. So and then and people like that. I'm sure they do. Yes. Right. So make sure if you're a new shopper, make sure you get that. I'm sure you won't... Uh, you guys won't forget to give them one. No, but, they'll ask. Yeah. But uh, then you start collecting your stamps and off you go. So that is good. And uh, then what, uh, when does, is that the 18th through the 23rd? Is that what yes, you were talking yes. about? Okay. And right now we've got ticket sales going on. We've got items that are 99 cents and items that are 50% off. And our racks are, and we've got a good selection. You said the fall sale is continuing on and uh, how have the donations been? Donations have been good. Really? Um, yeah. The only thing is, is that we, we've put a 25-pound limit on it because it's hard for a, a lot of us to get those bags out of the car. They'll have those 55-gallon bags full, mm. and they weigh more than I weigh, so <laughs> it's it's hard for me to get them. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. If you loaded the truck with a forklift to get it there, that's going to be a problem after you get there. But That yeah. will be a big problem. Yeah. And what's going to happen is, is we're going to have to... Uh, break those down before you even get them out in your car. So we'll give you other bags, and you're going to have to sort through yeah. them. So, you know, it won't be just a quick drop-off for them. So, you know, we want to make the process to go faster. So if they could be reasonable with their weight. I'm sure everybody would like to comply with that. Yes. So we'll uh, we'll ask you to do that. Um, cover each store for a moment. How are things at Yurksville? and what's, what's happening there? Well, our Yurksville is doing well. We just did the fall event that the Yurksville had, and we did very well with our lot sale. Um, in, in our stores right now, we've got our fall 25 to 30% off. And then our Christmas is 25% mm-hmm. off. Time for that. Yes. And Christmas trees. And, and now they're saying, you know, you might not be able to get a Christmas tree. So, you know, we've got some great deals at some great mm-hmm. prices. And, you know, and it's helping the community. Yes. Hours at Yorksville? Our Hours at Yorksville. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. And they're open 10 to 5. Now, our Dover location is opened Monday through Saturday, and they're open 9 to 5. In the Carrollton store, they're open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 5. But our little shop that we have, our yeah. little furniture shop, yeah, okay, it was opened up 10 to 3. Now, if there's something that somebody wants to look at, they can go on up to the main building, and, and they'll take them down to show them. Okay. And it's okay. just staffing. Staffing's an issue, so... You know, if anybody out there would like to volunteer, we really could use volunteers in all three locations. So we, yeah, and we just heard the hours, so they cover uh, quite a few hours. So any time you could pop in really would be useful, correct? Correct. We'll take them whatever time frame has worked for them. Okay. And as far as the donations, 25-pound uh, limit on any particular item or bag. But uh, are there things that you particularly need or would not accept? Uh, we will not accept mattresses. Uh, computers, uh, big the old screen, the old TVs mm-hmm. with the big tubes. We don't accept those. Uh, encyclopedias. People don't use encyclopedias anymore, so that's kind of astonishing. And ties is another thing that we do not sell because men don't wear ties. Yeah, I did mm, once last year. Yeah, see, there <laughs> it is. There it is. You know, and they can always call any of the locations. 
Okay. Okay. And then also, you know, we have our Facebook page. That's right. So they can go in and like our Facebook page and then they can get on there and they'll be able to see what's going on sale, any of the pictures that we've put out there to show items that we do have in our stores. So we've covered the fall and Christmas and the double stamps. Uh, where does where does the money that uh, is brought in, how, how does that get used then? That will be for all patient care. Well, patient care, and then we have the bereavement camp. But that's for anybody that has depleted any of their resources for payments, and, and they're taken care of. They're taken care of for the same person that has insurance versus somebody that doesn't. Right. Well, that's great. And the bereavement camp with the kids, which was uh, held this past year for a one-day camp, which is way better than the year before when it had to be knocked yes. off. But, yes. Uh, so I'm not sure exactly what's going on for next year, but you know they can always call the bereavement house. And, and they'll give them ideas or um, to sign up. So uh, we talked about the hours. Is there a number, especially at Yorksville, since we're right here, um, what's the number at that store? That number is... Oh, didn't mean to surprise it you. It is 740-229-7808. All right. So any question you might have, somebody there can take care of you. And you're there sometimes. Yes, I am everywhere, and I've got customers that go, i just seen you in, in Dover, and you're in Carrollton. Yes, I know. I, I, I'll hit all three stores some days. So, yes, I'm, I'm everywhere. But to know that, they would have had to have been in both spots, too. So, But if anybody on my Facebook page, when they talk about volunteers, my number's on there. So they can personally call me oh, okay. and you know tell me what they want or what they can do for us, and hey, we'll welcome them. Traditionally, at the holiday time, do you get busier as well? Yes, yes. So volunteers would be even more important. Yes. You know, a lot of times we have uh, new items that come in. And, you mm -hmm. know, as and I have to say, most of the time it's women that will buy extra things and and then think, oh, okay, I'm going to, it was a great deal. And then, then they donate it. Yeah. Well, that's all right. We yes. appreciate that too. Yes. <laughs> we, oh, we surely do. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you coming in getting us all filled in, and so uh, we'll check in with you around Thanksgiving time. How's that sound? That sounds great. All right, very good. And we'll talk more about hospice browsing by then with Holly Flickinger, who's been our guest this morning on the 830 High Beam here on the BT Morning Show.